Scotland could be a Disneyland for lizards. One massive lizard party. We have more species of lizard for our climate than anywhere else in the world. But our lizards haven't been faring too well lately. Let's find out why our skinks are on the brink. Why are our lizards in so much trouble? Well, originally when man came to New Zealand, he brought things like rats, cats, stoats, and possums with him. And most of them, apart from the possums, eat um, chaps like this. He is a Wellington green gecko. He is one of um, eight species of reptile that we have on the island. And what else have you got here? First of all, we've got the tuatara. Uh, we've got the Brothers Island Tuatara. That's 10% of the world's population of these animals. Um, and we also have the Wellington Green Gecko. We also have the Forest Gecko and the Common Gecko. And we have four species of skink. And this is the ornate skink. And what's the difference between geckos and skinks? OK, well, we'll use these two pictures. Um, first of all, this is a gecko. Um, they have uh, no eyelids, which is why they're often seen licking their eyeballs to keep them clean. Um, they have baggy skin and they also have a distinctive neck. So they have a flat head that leads to a distinctive neck. If we look at the skink now, he has eyelids, so he won't lick his eyeballs like the gecko does. And his head basically goes straight into his body. He's got no neck and he's got this very tight skin on him. I've got one in my lunchbox here. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to be careful about how I um, handle this skink because like most reptiles, they um, store their food in their tail. And that's why I'm, I'm being very careful not to hold it by its tail um, because they will drop their tail as a defense mechanism. And at this time of the year, because it's winter, if they lost their tail, uh, that's all their food supply gone. So it might starve. Yeah, so it probably starve. Really is a beautiful one. Yes. So he is a, what, a common? Yeah, I think he's a common. What also is special about New Zealand's um, skinks and geckos is that most of them give birth to live young whereas in other parts of the world it's all about laying eggs so they are uh, quite different animals over here completely. You told me you've had some interesting stories about how you got some of your lizards. Yeah there's one cat in Wellington who's got a very soft mouth and she would bring the skinks in alive and leave them on the doormat for their owner to collect and their owner noticed that there was something a bit different about these skinks and decided to ring Doc. They said yes these are special skinks and brought them and out. they brought them out here. Go She's not way. happy. Shall we let her go? She, she just bit me. We'll put her back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. While we may not have the larger cousins like the crocodiles and alligators, New Zealand does have an amazing array of reptiles and there's plenty we can do to protect our lizard locals.